<laughs> All right. So this first uh, this first one is Hecta versus Born Identity Eight. Are you screen sharing, Ryan? Uh, yes, I am screen sharing, Dave. Why? Why? Why do you? Why do you ask? Because you're not. Shh. Minor detail. I can fix this. I, I have the technology. I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> That's another guy that's dead. Oh, I guess we're gonna go. Stop quoting dead people. We'll share this one. All right. So yeah, uh, Hecta is playing Altergeist, and Born is playing Cosmo. I believe. Is he playing Diagram? Yeah, he's playing the uh, True Draco Cosmo. Is this sixteenth uh, versus like first seed or whatever it is? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep, so Hecta, Altergeist is number one seed, and Born is number 16. Ugh. Um, that untargetable uh, ship there is was giving him a little bit of trouble, so he had to make the uh, the Hextia to get over it. Yeah, actually, untargetable monsters are a little strong this format. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, he is playing Chain Destruction. Which is main. cute. Uh, I'm not what? sure what you'd be aiming for with Chain Destruction. I think he was just going for a cheap trap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's also playing Mind Crush and some other things, too. So it's a, it's it's techy, for sure. But uh, yeah, Alter Guys kind of got away with that one. I would at least assume Chain Disappearance would be a better selection. I, yeah. I would, too. Because Chain um, Disappearance actually has the card that was played as well. So I don't know. It would have been good against my deck. <laughs> Here you go, True Draco. <clears throat> oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Masterpiece would have given Ultra Guys a, a run for its money, but... Oh, yes, they'd have an awful time with it. Oh, I, you, I, it's unaffected by everything? Uh, GG. Especially, especially if you made it unaffected by monsters and traps, they probably have no out to it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, exactly. They'd probably be citing spells for that format. <laughs> citing right. stupid spells? A reasonable pace. I mean, the frame rate went up. Doubled. Okay, that's a good sign. Yeah, right now, right now, me viewing the stream, it looks like it's running fine. Yeah, the no. chain link one circle is swirling nicely. Yes, it's fine now. Okay. It was literally the screen share. It was just too much. Yeah. It's like streaming twice. <laughs> Basically. Pretty much. Um. But one was yeah, probably. Yeah. The uh, at this point the. Popping, I think, of Slip Rider and kind of taking out some stuff there is what uh, winning him this one. Well, negating um, negating the Cosmos isn't good enough because then they just die and float again. Right, right. So that was that was a advantage duel. Uh, and this one, Ultra Guys gets to go first, so that's that's all you need to know about this one. <laughs> Yeah, winning the dice roll. Well, that's, that's pretty much my alter guys match up with my Paleos. It's mm -hmm. it's a it's dice rolly. Who gets to set five and pass first? Emuel is an interesting and wins in this duel, but it's an interesting tech choice. I don't think I've seen that in any other lists. Emeltef is played in lists that play uh, Temple of the Kings. It's also oh, okay. useful in this scenario where it protects the uh, protocol. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously that's how we used it. I just haven't seen it in... Uh... I've never seen a competitive build run it, right. but... It's... My friend Akeem has two YCS Top 32s from this year, both with Alter Geist, both playing Temple of the Kings, both playing MLTF. Yeah, I've, it's, I'm not saying it's a bad option. It won in the duel. I've just, I've, I have yet to see it, which... Uh... Yeah. Temple of the Kings is certainly cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's always a neg one, but the, the tempo you get is ridiculous. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's what they have a hard time with is uh, set. You go first, you have to set a bunch of stuff. They've got the luxury of uh, something like Palios with making the the Apabina. Yeah, but you still even still Apabina you want to make with a trap. So even it's even that doesn't really that's help. Tr too. That's true. Uh, let's see what the next one is. Silco just can't get him over budget. It's a it's a super and like a main set it should be yeah i think most of the ultra guys are cheap actually all of them are cheap i think the reason the ultra guys is expensive is because of impermanence yeah i mean it it might be 
the most expensive at like a buck a copy. Right. Faker's five. Everything else is a dollar or less. That's true. Faker's is five. Uh, so this next one is Demix versus Window. Demix is playing a PK Fire. I don't know if it's quite PK Fire, but per, uh, Phantom Knights. And then Window is playing True Draco. Uh, True Draco Time Lords, actually. So that's some, that's some of those tucked in there. Look at that Galaxy Cyclone. Oof. <laughs> Galaxy Cyclone actually might be really good against Altergeist. As like a cheesy cheap option. Yeah, probably. Because they're going to have face ups and face downs, so mm. it's always got targets. That's not stupid. I like that. No, yeah. Um, Phantom Knight's just kind of not caring about being destroyed, as they Oof. do. Decode pass, yuck. Well, it was decode, then make like three other monsters, <laughs> and then attack. Breaks are still good. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's just been OTKing everyone. I think that's how he's. Been. Yeah, definitely, he's always been winning. <laughs> Chain link four. That's easy. The uh, scrap twin dragon. The spicy tech, I guess. Oh, see, you're a little bit ahead, so there's spoiling it for me. Mm. I gotta say, I didn't know Phantomites could function on their own. Mm hmm. No, they're not bad. Clearly. I mean, that was a boatload of damage. Yeah. Cheesy. <laughs> Cheesy. <laughs> Just attacking through zeros is gonna put up a lot right, of damage. Yeah, zero out the zero out the attack and then attack a couple times. Is this game two? Yeah. All right, true Draco going first with uh, dynamite set one pass. <laughs> dynamite. That looks like that, lo that looks like true Draco's going first. Mm -hmm. I like how he's like, chain something! <laughs> Demex is pretty clever. He doesn't play anything if he knows it's going to work out against him. He's a good player. Yeah. Definitely the uh, break sword coming in handy. Break sword's putting in work. It's like part of the archetype or something. It seems to work better in the archetype too, because mm -hmm. it summons back guys. And being able to search out the uh, the rank up. Um, that's pretty. That's pretty cute. Because because nice. that's the big problem with rum cards is most of them are unsearchable. Mm -hmm. So despite the fact that they can cheese out some pretty beefy guys, most of the time they're just kind of bricky. So the fact that they can search their in theme one is actually kind of nifty. Yeah. Especially as it's like part of the, you make the rank four, detach, search out, and then upgrade that. So it's, it's neat. It's pretty. What's slick. the thing he's making? That big dragon. Uh, uh, dark, dark requiem. Dark requiem. Gotcha. It's a. It negator. can reduce them. Yeah, it reduces a monster to zero and gains its full attack, and it can also negate any number of monster effects until it runs out of material. Okay, that's a good card. Oh, but Fire it needs stuff. Rebellion as material in order to activate either of its effects, so once it detaches the Rebellion, it becomes kind of useless. Yeah. I mean, it's a humongous beater, so that's... You're rarely going to get to that point. Oh, it also summons back Dark XE monsters when it negates something and destroys it. Yes, which is, I think he used OTK last game by getting he back... He brought uh, back Breaksword, Break so you don't really need links in it at all. Which is nifty. Yeah, he's not... I, don't, I think he's, he's running a couple, but they look like... Toolbox. It's actually funny too, because like Dragoon needs function in the same way, like or a similar way. They don't really care about link material mm -hmm. or needing links, because like they just kind of constantly swap the one zone guy. <laughs> so this is very similar in that fashion, where it's just it's like I keep sending my guys to the graveyard and coming bringing them back, so I don't really need a, a link zones. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, kind of neat. Although with the trap summoning the guys back. You could probably make a decent link spam phantom. Yeah, you could. 
Well, if you use the Breaks for it to pop and summon, you can only go into Dark, so you're somewhat limited, but some of the best cards are Dark right now. Yeah. That Boil and, like, you, ha you have, over. like, and you, and you can always put in more Rank 3 engines, like, uh, Dangers and stuff. True. All right, so, yeah, uh, Demex won that one 2-0. Pretty, uh, pretty whole-handedly. Whole that last one was, was pretty back and forth, but yeah, Windows a pretty good, uh, good player as well. A lot of, I mean, a lot of the top cut was all, all good players, which these matches were, were quite good. Uh, this is Woob, Woob, Tublers, and Yui. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yui is playing the, uh, Trickstar Time Lord burn dot Woob deck. Raider? Woob Tublers? I don't know. <laughs> Woob Raider. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I think you downloaded the wrong Tomb Raider. <laughs> <laughs> I downloaded the right Tomb Raider. Alright, um, uh, so yeah, so Trickstar Burn is doing Trickstar Burn. And then uh, the other one is trying to summon a Kaiju to do the Crusadia bit. Oh, is that Crusadia's? Is that what I'm looking at? It is. It's pretty much link up, target a Kaiju on your opponent's side of the field, and attack for 8,000 damage is how that works. Uh, but the uh, Trickstars are definitely... <laughs> Torrential tribute on the trick star on the things. kaiju. I mean, yeah, you you gotta prevent your opponent from getting a kaiju on board. The shame it didn't kill a Crusadia. That would have been kind of clever. Mm -hmm. I think it has battle protection. No, the uh, Aboria was in the graveyard. You can banish it to protect your Crusadias. Ah, so it had battle protection. <laughs> Just uh, on uh, its own, yes. Yeah, that's actually kind of funny though. Like. Your opponent builds a board, throws a kaiju at you. You're mm -hmm. like, aha! Like, that's <laughs> torrential tribute. I like that. Yeah, Trickstar has a lot of room to play a lot of interesting tech. These Time Lords and these Torrentials. So it does a lot. Yeah, when your deck consists of three Lycoris, three Candina, and three of the Field Spell, and literally one, and one Lily Bell, and then you have all this other room you don't know what to do with. Mm. But uh, in the end, he succumbs to the burn. The burn. I I don't like Mound of the Bound in that deck. I think that's uh, even for the uh, Time Lords. Yeah, I don't need it. Well, it's the four thousand one inflict the thousand when um, actually destroying something. Is that? Oh. Yeah. It's I, I guess it's it's additional burn. I just they just Trickstar is like their field spell, and if you're playing a burn variant, you want the field spell, so it just feels odd to run another field spell. Yeah. Uh. Unless it's like a unless it's a that quick play spell. What's it called? Twitch. Someone's field spells. Oh, metaverse. Oh, not the. Oh, yeah. The, no. Uh, uh, yeah. the limited one card. Yeah. Uh, blanking. I'm I'm so beat. Uh, I know what you are speaking of. It, that would be a reason why I, I would play that if I was playing that other card. Side rotation. Could, yes. Side rotation. Because you could give your opponent that stupid amount of the bound at worst case scenario. That's true. I do think Trickstar should play the Link One that points down, just so that when they make the nightmares, they can get their draws off of it. No, oh, the the Trickstar Link One. Yeah, it just points down. I don't even know what it does. It does something, but it's not really relevant. Probably does burn. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would that would be my. It's my kind opinion. of funny that Trickstars have a whole deck and they don't play like half their monsters. Yeah. Yeah, they have like a they have they've had like consistent support for the last couple of sets. They mm -hmm. just don't play any of the main deck monsters. All right, game number three. So Trickstar has. Where's that dark room and nightmare? Come on, <laughs> I want to see some old school cheese. So the uh, Crusader Crusadia was kind of forced to go first, which is not I what it that. wants to do. That is wholeheartedly a OTK deck. Human oh. gang asked me when Cyber Dark like. Well, How not a Monday. Go? How you go? Have I ever posted a list video on a Monday? No, not in a long time. Where's my firewall, firewall Lily Bell loop? That's what I want to see. <laughs> that was probably affordable. Probably. <laughs> I mean, 
You can get those reincarnations in there. That's pretty good. They must have dropped in price. He's not playing Firewall. Hmm. Interesting. Just, uh... Doing all that 400 burn. <laughs> <laughs> Think Predator Magnus, we've already been over this. I'm no longer doing Top Tuesday. I'm just posting it whenever because the schedule's too hard to maintain. At least once a week. It's an official announcement in a list video. So I don't know about the um uh, what do you think about the red reboot against uh, Trick Stars? Is it worth negating the? Well, when you're playing a deck that just wants to OTK yeah, no, playing... it's it's actually an absolute atrocious play. But I wasn't gonna harp on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's it like your win conditions to burn me, so I'm gonna pay half my life points. Right. It feels bad, man. <laughs> you know, it's like and you're then, doing yeah. you're doing literal half the work for him. And at this point. Um... It's it's too much. I don't think it's the worst choice in the world if you have a full hand, but when you're down to like one card, it's not yeah, so great. At that, I guess at that point, do you is it even worth activating? I, I think it's fine. Yeah, you're taking in, like in five. OTK, if, if they have like or... damn it, or OTK deck, if you can do the di if you can win, then sure. Then pay all your life points. Right. It doesn't matter. Last one. La all that matters is the last life point. It's just to feel. It's it's like you know. I don't know. It, if you don't need the five cards in your hand, let him reincarnate it because right. it's like you're gonna lose four thousand plus like another thousand if they have Lycoris. So it's like that's that's a huge investment to right. save that your opening hand. Uh, All right, well here's a Pendulum Mirror match. I can't yeah. have a I can't have an opinion on. <laughs> This is uh, Snowy versus Nick, and uh, Nick is playing Odd Eyes, and Snowy is playing Baguska Pen Turbo. Pendulum, <laughs> Baguska Turbo, yeah. <laughs> Baguska <laughs> Turbo. Um, yeah. Baguska's literally walking Plan B. It's, Ooh. It's not. Ooh. Not the greatest right now. I liked the Valor on the the metal post. It's a it's a good hit. It's a good hit. Oh, fine. Well, everything else is negated, so. Yeah, I was playing. I've been testing out um, uh, Baguska, and it's not as good as it was, for sure. Um, I think that. I think the Odd Eyes matchup is actually in his favor because of um, because of Persona. Because mm. he can pull it out of the deck with Arc. Um, and then have a another negate as well. Well, the big eye is nice. negate? Oof, big eye. Get Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that's broke. Yeah. Uh, I miss I miss Ignister popping my opponent my right? opponent's cards to spin things. Yes, I, I did that in a mirror match at the regional. Uh, Persona's effect is once per turn you can target a face up monster on the field that was special summoned from the extra deck and its effects are negated to the end of the turn. I feel it's like I did that exact play with happen. Harpies once against uh, some pendulum player summoned Ignister and I used Big Eye to steal it. Like, nice. I, I remember that big brain play. That was. <laughs> So Pendulum Magicians is so cheap that he's able to fit in the uh, Mythical Beast engine. Blech. He's like play the real build of the deck yeah, just to like pretty much. Um... It's funny too because it's like I feel kind of bad for Odd Eyes because it's just an inferior version of the same deck, even though it does have some neat plays. It's just I, less yeah, consistent. It's certainly I'm a deck. Surprised you don't play it. It's pendulums and big dragons. I should. I think you also I... like to win. So yeah, I don't know. There, there is that. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. I just play my big dragons in my. Yes. 
Um, although Arc Pendulum being able to recycle Vortex multiple, you know, when it gets destroyed is is really nice. Yeah, I mean the deck has its advantages. It, 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 there'd be no reason to play it if it didn't do anything fun. Mm -hmm. And like access so. to Big Eye. The rank seven toolbox is still pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, Vortex is a pain in the ass. It really is. I, I <laughs> it like coming it. back over and over again is confusing. I like surprising it. me. That was impressive, but okay. <laughs> it was impressive. <laughs> um, let's see. The next one is Enrotted versus April. O'Neill? Uh, April, I think, is playing Luna Lights, and Enrotted is playing. Trickstar. I think it's just Mech Knight Trickstars, which is interesting. Mm. That little, uh, well, I don't, that little tech in there. I went all in on like triple DD crow, if I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all in is in like it's a fifty cent card, so there's that. I know, I know, but no one's really playing hand traps. <laughs> He's just like, I'm gonna play the hand traps I could play, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Might as well like try to, because th there was there was like two distinct deck building options for this tournament. It's either. I blow my main budget on my main deck and just make the deck work, or I play something dumb, make it function, and then blow all my money on the extra and side deck. And, and uh, in this case, he's able to pull out a Borolo Dragon. So, like, neat. <laughs> Which, I mean, if you can fit the Borolo Dragon in, you're, uh, you're well on your way. Because budget cards might have a problem with that thing. <laughs> yeah, he immediately, or she, April, immediately scoops. Scoop. And apparently Lutalite's got more support coming. Neat. Do they still lose to Tetsudo or Rot Newman? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they, uh... That's Tiny Turtle, right? Blind, yeah, yes. Blind allure. <laughs> as long as you blind allure when you can't special summon. <laughs> Oof! Regeki for one. Feels bad. Although the uh, DD Crows are putting in work. Where is DD that? Crow putting in work. Well, if Called by the Grave is a great card, then I think by definition... Half of Called by, Crow, a, Crow, Call by the Grave is okay. Is a good... Is an is okay card. Well, often enough, DD Crow... I mean, Called by the Grave is just used as a DD Crow. Really? I mean, the, the negating the effect is nice, but yeah, the chaining to Graveyard Revival is definitely... Yeah, very. Although, banishing their Herald of uh, Perfection out of their grave that they discarded with the Herald of Perfection on the field in order to negate the Herald of Perfection on the field's effect was one of my crowning achievements with Called <laughs> by the Grave. <laughs> I was like, gotcha! Uh, that's not bad. That's uh, not bad. I love that stupid card. <laughs> Come back to three. And then the oppressive Luna Lights was was too much for. Yeah, he put a big put a big bunch of damage on board. Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit. All right, who's gonna win? <sighs> Game number three. I mean, this is this is Luna Lights match to lose because they play big beaters and Trickstar has problems with big beaters. I so. don't know why they didn't activate Hanawata right away. Just to, just to save some, because I mean, like they're going into it having taken no battle damage and like at half life essentially. Mm hmm. Or if they took some battle damage, but like, oof. Yeah, he lost. So that had a lot of pass. Yeah, that was. You. And then the uh, scapegoat into Borolod to to seal the deal. No, Damn, little lights. Hanawata. This should have been your game. You so opened your... Hanawana, which is like just to stop burn damage yeah. for the FTK that's going on right now. I know people were like afraid they can't activate any monster effects mm. to play defense with. Um, friend of mine was testing clear effector. I think that's the other one where they take the damage instead. Oh, okay, interesting. I think there's another one that you don't take any damage. The trick is to get greedy Saramea on board. Yeah, same idea. <laughs> Uh, so this one is, again, this is a Slifer OP playing another Pendulum Magicians and um, some guy called Legacy Crusaders. Never heard of him. 
Yeah, yeah, that guy. I've seen his channel. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's, pretty, it's pretty whack. <laughs> feels, feels, feels bad. So, yeah. do you have anything to say about your, now that now the cat is out of the bag, uh, do you have anything to say about your Infernoid deck? I just hope that there wouldn't be a bunch of Altergeists and a bunch of True Draco, and those were the most represented decks in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I gotta uh, give you kudos for the reasoning and slash draw. That uh, slash draw was putting in some work. It did win a couple games. Slash draw is stupid. Not I by its effect, card. but <laughs> oh, it did. Just not in the top cut. Oh, okay, nice. I mean, slash draw is a great little mill card, and every once in a while, it'll win you a stu- it'll win you a game by accident. It's mm-hmm. pretty. It's pretty nifty. The um. With that, what I thought was interesting is um, the pro Abyss Dweller play, uh, which does literally nothing against uh, Infernoids. It is possible he didn't know what I was playing because I hadn't exposed a single replay. No, I know. You did a pretty good job of uh, of being discreet. But I, I, he didn't really have anything else. He probably could have done Tornado Dragon, but there really wasn't he didn't what, anything chained else. Chained a Slash Draw? Off Slash Draw, I left one of the Decatrons in the graveyard so that the Reasoning would only have one target in the deck. Nice. For, like, that, uh, what, Dog Marin that sends itself back. Uh, just three Decatrons. But, yeah, I've seen those old builds. Yeah, they used to, used to do that. Game number two. <laughs> Gotta give it to Infernoids. They, they can still win. Even though every card in their deck is a brick. Pretty much. Which is, <laughs> which is ridiculous. A little counterintuitive, but it's all right. It just See, has a lot of big plus cards. I was wondering if uh, if Slifer should have made you go first. Um, maybe. Uh, I, if I open Feast, he's in trouble. But otherwise, yeah, I don't have as many going first place as going I second feel like place. I've seen you just do nothing but OTK. And I don't think that he has enough stoppage on his part. Ew, I recognize that. Part. Well, he does until I think he lets this go off. Uh, he he left the he slash neg- draw. He negated the wrong thing. Um, I think there were just too many things to negate after slash draw resolved. Gotcha. I mean, slash draw. I could see. I could see why you wouldn't negate it, just because it doesn't immediately affect y- a you. But you want the setup, so I wouldn't have let you do that. But. You know. Does well, that... I mean, he is playing a Pendulum deck, so less of his cards go to the graveyard, so the burn damage is not as important against the Pendulum deck. Gotcha. But you don't want to... He doesn't want to let you mill. Like, right. that's what you're... Whatever. I'm mostly playing it as Upstart Goblin. Yes. Yeah. And to send back some stuff that you would want. Yeah. And then, yeah, Master Rule 4 getting in the way of uh, Pendulums. <laughs> Pendulum still gone one. <laughs> Decatron. Pass. I'm not sure if he had a dark pendulum, but it might have made more sense for him to put one in there oh, instead yeah. of the Wisdom Eye. Probably. Or did I? Uh, or were you playing Slifer or something? No, you were playing someone else. You were playing Zen, Zen Modaman. I think I, I labeled that wrong. Regardless, the last duel of the top 16 is actually between Slifer and Mind Reader. The last one was with uh, uh, Benji and um, Zen Modeman. Oh, yeah. Because he, he did know what you were playing, because he played you in the uh, Swiss. Yeah, I think he so, was Metaphys? He, mm, no, he was... Uh, no, the last one, the last duel, I think he played you. Oh. It might have been just the it wrong the, order of games. The Pendulum. I think I played him top eight, actually. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I, I might have mixed up which order I, I played them in. I'm pretty think, sure. I don't think Metaphys made top cut. Oh, I played somebody. Oh, uh, never mind. I think that was your game you lost because of um, Macro. Yeah, I lost uh, oh, due to Macro in... Uh, oh, no, that was... was that No, you lost to Ringo, right? I think your only loss was Ringo. Yeah, yeah. I was, lost to Ringo because he opened Macro. In Ritual Beasts. Yeah. Which sure. effect bounce multifigure. <laughs> Where's your con curry, you scrub? <laughs> Del horsey. Del horsey. I think he searched the mellow seek, even though he already had one. I don't know why he did that. 
Because he is oh. uh, the epitome of an Ultra Geist player. What? Click things. Just click things. <laughs> Search Mellow Seek. <laughs> I mean, Mellow Seek is kind of a cheesy card. Mm -hmm. Normal Mellow Seek. I mean, he might, have had, he might not have <laughs> had. He might not have had Like, Conquery requires a face of Alter Guys to activate, so he might. I don't know if he had that. But you still, yeah, you still need to search it out. There it is. Yeah, right. Yeah, you got it <laughs> now. But uh, I've lost to this deck enough. It's a little, to, a little too late there. To watch, to actually almost know how to play it. <laughs> I know how to. I actually, I don't know if I've ever beaten it. I uh, know I have. I, I, with pendulums, I've been able to beat it. <clears throat> I've been able to beat it with, with my palios by just simply opening uh, heavy storm duster. Oh yeah, there you go. At, and going first, yeah, <laughs> it's, first. it's good. Yeah, going second is hard. So, in, in case in point, this is playing into set four. <laughs> set, Ugh. Set three. Yeah, no, it's. It's no bueno. Then Soikidus is just a really, really good little control card. Yeah. It's surprisingly annoying to play around. That's why Kieran was banned. Well, yeah, and you got Proto, or what is it? Uh, is it Protocol running uh, interference? Yeah. So it's like... If you let Alter Dice get going, they have a pretty, pretty grindy and difficult board to break. Yeah, I'd say by about, definitely by about turn three, if you haven't gotten rid of their traps, you're probably going to lose. Yes. Yeah, once they've established the L board, it's over. Right, exactly. Yeah, because anything you get rid of, they just get right back. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's super annoying. Just a bit. Duelist Alliance. I like the card. It just loses wholeheartedly to uh, Thunder Dragon. And Ash. Exiton Knight. Oof. <laughs> Oof. But he's able to Eight. chain a whole bunch of stuff and like just send everything back to his hand, so. Uh There you go. A boosted black fang. Come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sent to the grave with Mellow Seek. Oh, that's cute. The Link Karibo? Yeah. No, uh, using Metal Seek to send Purple Poison. I oh, like yeah. that. So you don't get it's the cute. pop. Yeah, that's cute. But yeah, and then just... The fact that the Pendulum player is still in this is... a testament to the recursion of Pendulums, I guess. Yeah, both recur very well, but without opening another power card... Like a twin twisters or something like that. I think it's. Yeah, I mean, you got like time gazer magician in attack mode. That's Which a little. Is, yeah. That's a little bad. <laughs> that's a, that's, well, that's a mean, suboptimal situation. Normally, that's not too bad because of poison. Um, but that's... with Milliseek not destroying. Able it, to. Yeah. yeah, able to cheese through it is pretty good. Milliseek breaks the board pretty well. It really does. And yeah, that's 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 up. yeah. You got it. So game number three, pendulums have to go first, which really uh, yeah. This was this was a die roll. I think if Ultra Guys had won the the die, this may have been a different outcome. Gotcha. Did he open the wombo combo board that I opened on you? Yeah, every single time I duel you. <laughs> Pretty close. What's the intended work? It's like, how many times can I open that stupid Link 3 with the stupid Vortex Dragon and this stupid Moral Leader? Oh, and, and, you always, and Avian. Don't forget. Yeah, Avian. you always get managed to get an Avian in there, too. <laughs> like a dick. No, but the Turn of the Dragon was, uh, was a pro move there. Yes. Well, you know what he was playing against, yeah. so... No, yeah. That was, that was the optimal monster to make. Right, so you... Gotta, you just wait for him to flip protocol and say, nope. Nope. Ooh, set four pass. Oh, wow. <laughs> Spoofing? Chopper. Look at that. He actually knew what to negate. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, yeah. He tries tries rivalry, but... <laughs> no. 
Huh, clicking the subscribe button's a good move. I guess there's a first time for everything. Feel free to click on these third-rate videos from a fourth-rate Yugi tuber. But I don't have time for such amateurs. Come on, Mokuba. Let's go get ice cream. <laughs>